Hey, it's Ryan Cavino with Northeast Realty Partners and RyanCavinoRealEstate.com bringing you the Charlestown Mass single family market update as well as condos, multifamilies, and if there's any bank owns, we're going to show you. So right now we're checking out what's going on in the single family market in the last seven days and not much. It says one new property at Perkins Street, but you can also see it's been on for over a year. So maybe it's changed brokerages or um, had a price drop and came back on and it did change. I think it was on with a different different uh, broker before, but it's on for five ninety nine. I think it started like um, let's see. I think it started at eight ninety nine. So it's dropped three hundred thousand, and this should move uh, quicker now, or maybe even take another price drop. But basically, these people have been chasing the market. And here we have 52 Harvard Street, single family, 525, came on at 585. It's a five room, two bedroom, one full, one half bath, nice lower level, which is really terrific. And this one started at 565, sold for 525, or started at 585 and sold for 525 in about 53 days. Let's check out the condos now. A little bit more usually in the condo market, we get 10. We get two new properties basically in the Navy Yard. One is for four fifty nine at um, it should be Paris Landing, and we have uh, a four room, two bedroom, two full bath. Not really any photos of the um, actual unit, but uh, nine hundred twenty eight square feet, six hundred thirty dollar condo fee. That uh, hey yeah, six hundred thirty dollar condo fee that uh, takes care of heat and hot water. And then we got this one on Constellation Wharf which Constellation Wharf, this is, uh, I believe Nomar used to live over here, Nomar Garcia Parra. This is a uh, $1.375 million property. It's 2,600 square feet. These are really cool too, because they have like their own, like their own little single families looking out at this uh, at the city. It's uh, probably assessed for a little bit less than it is, but the property's in pretty nice condition. It looks like it's been completely done over. So uh, moving on to the under agreements, we get, Basically six, averaging three months on the market, and asking price of five forty-three. Uh, some of the stuff that moved quicker was in the three to five hundred thousand dollar price point, and then outside of that moved a little bit uh, slower. And then we had a couple solds, and they they were only on the market for about fifty-six days, and their sales price was seven eighty-five. So this week, the more expensive properties, uh, or the priced more more appropriately priced properties, went quicker. Than the under agreements, they took about three months while the um, the days on market for the souls is just under two. Let's take a look and see if there's anything going on in the multifamily area. Just one. One under agreement at one Seminary Street, one point three. It is a two family, but it is a, uh, a Greek revival home, and it was renovated in 01, and it's probably in law or something somewhere. Both units have open floor plans, so it looks like it's a two bedroom, three bedroom. Very nice. All right, let's check out bank owns, if there's any. We got two, and uh, one is under agreement on Mystic Street. It dropped to three ninety nine, and that's when it went under agreement. The bedrooms were in the basement, which was a little bit interesting. Then we got fifteen Monument Street Unit One for two fifty nine. This is interesting. Um, two fifty nine, first floor condo, five hundred and forty seven square feet. It's small. It's really small, but it's in a really good location. Maybe a little bit lower than that is where we need to be. Take special care. Let's just get grab a quick look at uh, yeah, this is a pretty nice area. Here's Winter Square. And City Square down here, Bunker Hill Monument right on the other side. That's pretty nice. Um, so we'll have to get that up on online too and see if we can help sell that for the for the bank. 
But that's it. If you have any questions, give me a shout. Ryan at RyanCabino.com.